official now. Live from Phoenix, Phoenix. Arizona. It's 107 <laughs> degrees. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm not a small person. <laughs> I wear black all the time. <laughs> not, not really, but here at least. But we are in our nice deluxe air conditioned room. Yes. Sweet. We, sweet. It is very sweet. We have uh, just, uh, we ditched Pat um, yeah. Lancioni in order to uh, be with you for, <laughs> for our live in person slash recorded. But the amazing parish conference is, is going really well. We're, um, as a team for our parish we that we serve, I think this is good that we're here. Um, a lot of fruit is being um, produced here. Um, we're being vo- very vulnerable with each other so we can help the parish come forward. So yeah, it's really working out great. So like so. like the sun, our cover is very bright. And what is that? Is those people burning in fire? What is <laughs> I that? I thought they were French fries. Oh. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure of what's going on with the cover. We we left Tim here. alone and you are welcome here. I just I see French fries. If you see people I'm, burning I'm just hungry as long as that's time. up to you. Yeah, it's we're not sure what time of the day or night it is any longer here on this longest day of the year. So <laughs> So speaking of all that, our bulletin yes. is bright and shiny. Yes, very. Um, there is some new stuff. Speaking of sunrise mm-hmm. and all the beautiful stuff, you'll notice a new name under our parish team. We yeah. uh, made it to the you know draft season here, and we drafted picked the free agent, the amazing Nick Heiss. <laughs> He's a dual agent. Is that a is that the right term? Yeah. He is working at Our Lady of Mercy in Harbor Creek, and also for us, the Great Saint Jude the Apostle mm-hmm. Parish. Six and Peninsula. So Nick will be another parish support minister. And again, we use that language because it's about our identity, right? That we are ministers. Uh, and we minister to our parish and hopefully our future parishioners and current parishioners and everyone in between. So we'll welcome Nick yeah. and he's he's really good looking like most of us. So we'll get a, we'll get a photo out there shortly for you. He looks like Jesus. He does. <laughs> we I all look, look like Jesus. I look like I hate Jesus. <laughs> uh, anyhow. <laughs> Oh, here we are. All so, right. So thankfully we're in summer mode. Not yes. a whole lot going on in the in the bulletin. No, I, I think there's a lot of going on. We have a new Bible study starting. I'm very excited. Yes. My Tell fr- us more about that. So my friend Zach um, Sherbel, he is um, a former Protestant pastor. Uh, brought him and his family into the church a few years ago. And it's just a wealth of knowledge. And Zach is... Just wanting to take this summer and um, dive into the Gospel of John. He's really been praying about this. Um, this is very near and dear to his heart. He's gone through a tough transition here with things, and um, I just I'm really excited for this. He's going to be doing at after masses, um, and uh, just he's, he's he, seriously he's he's really knowledgeable when it comes sort to a lot of our summer school. You know, yeah. for everybody, if you want to learn go a little bit deeper into that, right after the 10:30 mass on Sundays. And that's going to run from the 25th, from Sunday, till um, August 27th. So yeah. just a couple months. And uh, if you really need something this summer and you want a fresh perspective on something, I really would recommend that. So it's kind of cool. It's great because, you know, we were talking about how um, earlier just today at our conference, just how uh, we really should really thank the evangelical uh, Protestant communities, you know, for really making sure that the word of God has been transmitted. But once people read that and kind of dive deep into it, especially the Gospel of John, mm-hmm. many people are are almost I don't want to say converted, but they're convicted mm-hmm. of of the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist and of what church really means. So it's kind of amazing how how anybody, you know, of course anybody's welcome to this Bible study, but how I think it takes us on that deeper level, especially as we read John chapter six. How Jesus just invites us really to go deeper into this mystery of, of who he is mm-hmm. and why he would feed us and be the the unblemished lamb as the gospel begins with John the Baptist calling him out, you know, and I think this time of Eucharist revival, we have to go back to scripture. I, I think so. it's important. I, I really enjoyed uh, last week leading our Bible study on Wednesday. We have it for a fellowship because um, I always read the, the readings because I do all the social media and everything, but it was mm-hmm. nice to go deeper into right. them because I'm, you know, helping lead this facilitate this Bible study, uh, for me, that was really nice. Um, so 
I, I really enjoyed that kind of really entering into the scripture. So yeah. as Catholics, we can't take that for granted. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I mean, yeah, we can't just be like, well, we wrote the Bible. Uh, you know, so, as, as someone said no, we recently, did. <laughs> we did. I mean, the, the Bible, the Bible came from the Catholic Church, but but the Wednesday thing, because people don't know that we have Wednesday morning mass, eight a.m. Afterwards, we have a little bit of fellowship till about nine ish mm-hmm. is when it was kind of starting to close up, and then we added a little thirty minute. Bible study just to focus on the, the weekly readings. And I'm really glad you were able to do it. Tim has led some. I've led some. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's something we need to uh, rotate more people through. It's a great opportunity. So if you're not doing that or you're interested, you can come just for that 9 to 9.30 yeah. in our founder's room. So And sadly, it is also the last Sunday for Children's Liturgy for the summer. Um, I know a lot of people look forward to that, but... Miss Colleen does an amazing job. We want to thank Colleen. Uh, She's awesome. She really is the heart and soul of that program. And um, I, I think, you know, it makes me happy when kids are like, I want to go to Mass because I, I love children's liturgy. I feel this is my home here. They bring the whole family right. with them. Yeah. So um, she's going to be starting back up in the fall, as she always does. But it gives her, she usually takes a couple months off there. And uh, so we just thank you, Colleen. Yeah. Thank you and we'll get we'll get Colleen on to maybe a bulletin insert or something like that because we sure. really we love Colleen. We think she does a great job. Can you tell us a little bit about the um, mission Sunday coming up, Father? Yeah. So early July, the first weekend there in July, we mm-hmm. have Father Augustine, who is joining us from Nigeria, but by way of like Houston, and he has a Glen Burnie, Maryland address too. So I'm not exactly sure, but he's our missionary appeal that we were given assigned to us from the diocese. That happens to be the same weekend that we'll be away uh, discovering the uh, history of uh, St. Joan of Arc and all these other great French saints mm-hmm. while we're traveling through France and Northern Italy. So um, taking our students on the educational tour out there. So he'll be there that weekend and that'll be great to, to welcome him for our mission appeal. And again, you know, our diocese, well, all of us are called to be missionary disciples, but particularly in our diocese, we welcome these missionaries because we, we see this opportunity to be connected to the, the larger Catholic Church and to support the things they're doing. So well, we are a mission church. I mean, that's it's important that we... That's one of the things, like, whenever I taught um, at the time RCIA, I tried to... We're not the national Catholic Church. Exactly. <laughs> we're connected. And, you know, a mass, the mass in Australia, the mass in Uganda, the mass on a naval ship, the mass... In you know a country parish, we're all praying together. Yeah. Uh, so that's very beautiful to keep that mindset when we we do go to mass. We're united. Um, you know, you uh, put a nice picture of him in there, so people will yeah. be able to see him and welcome him. I hope him. that's him. Uh, yeah. Um, last year you had the wrong Indian priest, but <laughs> that's what I came up think with. you have the correct African priest. If not, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out shortly. But I think you were able to you know capture the right one there. So we'll be welcoming Father Augustine on the, uh, but also I think we need someone from our, um, we're still looking for someone to pick him up at the airport. You know, yeah. he was having a hard time get to, getting to Erie. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to take if a ride watching, Cleveland, we need your help. <laughs> we might need your help. Pick so, up the priest. You know, we, we don't have people knocking on the door for that one. But, you know, speaking of travels, we've mm-hmm. got some, a lot of things kind of going on here. So this page in the bulletin too, we have, I mean, we're really throwing it out there early. Plan early to get your flu shot. <laughs> you know, just in case, you know, you're busy that weekend or you might have a funeral or something. Um, <laughs> Sunday, October 15th. No, we're not October. <laughs> um, we, we've analyzed I the, get on the, book. <laughs> the global flu um, schedule and we've determined that that is the ideal date and time to get your flu shot in your EPA. So, so please come to our parish center. <laughs> it's, I think it's free. Um, yeah, with your free. insurance yeah. card yeah. or something. Yeah, but you bring insurance card and ID. It's great. It's great to do it right there, you know, right right at the parish center. LeCom does that for us every year, and they, they're, uh, we're very appreciative of, of uh, them coming and do that for our parishioners. So um, we have Michael DeSanctis is leading a tour for a kind of adult education, um, and he's going to be going to Italy. Yeah, so he's doing a trip too. So we've got, uh, you know, we, we support Michael DeSanctis, mm-hmm. one of our one of our star parishioners, and he is going. I'm not even sure if his wife is going. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Dr. Kelly's going. But Michael loves this. He's done many of these, and it's a. Uh, he's calling it the Italian uh, tour of a lifetime. Oh. So you know. So I mean, that's a big deal. But he's just taken of a few you know prime sites in Italy, mm-hmm. and you'll have a local guide. But Michael is just so knowledgeable with the art yeah. and architecture and the history. So he's going to be able to do that. And he says they're staying in some like nice hotels, and obviously mm-hmm. there's good food and wine and pretty things to look at good so 
So yeah, It'll if you're interested, fun. sign up. I think the earlier the better. That's usually how that works. Mm-hmm. Um, we are asking, please, um, to go on Google and review us. We're looking for more reviews. I put a, a QR code there. All you gotta do is scan it with your phone. Um, go on there. Tell us about your experience so far at St. Jude. We Enjoy. are trying to reveal Jesus. Yes, there it is. Just scan the screen. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. They can't. They're looking at their screen right now. Well, no, but they can. I, I think they can. I think they can. <laughs> scan here. Okay. <laughs> That'll take you because yeah no Google Google encourages some some I think Yelp and some of the other things they mm-hmm. don't encourage reviews mm-hmm. or not solicited reviews but Google actually does mm-hmm. and that helps us when people are in Erie looking for a church like we'll show up higher on the list if yeah. we have more reviews the so analytics. we don't want, we don't want people going to the old or what the, what's that church that's that's kind of spelled like old. O L D or something oh that, whatever that one is no. you know we want them well whatever find a church near you but we are the million visitors on the Prescott Isle so that's right so check us out we're really nice to guess <laughs> but I oh I need to remind people though too I, this is not in the bulletin so mm-hmm. I apologize for the lack of communication the bathrooms in the back of church we might close them soon because we're remodeling them so go to the bathroom now so I'm just, hold your pee. right <laughs> this is Yes, this is this is gonna be happening. So wow, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna have that one side one. We'll just have the one, yeah. Or we're gonna leave it down in the basement, the scary basement. We have bathroom. We'll open the basement too, yeah. That'll help for people that can go down there. Yeah. Actually, all you have to do is just enter your envelope number on the keypad, and uh, (laughs) and then you'll be able to get into the bathroom. So that's all you have to do. But honestly, what do we have? Something we do have something coming up. Our parish picnic, Mm -hmm. and that's 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 gonna snake up on us quick. That's excite snake up on us. Uh, tell I'm people, raising the pig now. Tell people about yeah about this um, ham ham thing we got going the ham on here. <laughs> well, yes, we we always supply the pig and we do like a pulled pork and then the nights do hamburgers and hot dogs to everybody. Um, so that's a huge um, and then the dealer Redo family is amazing. So they set up the another tent and they help us with things and games and stuff like that. I like this year because we're doing it on Saturday night. So I, yeah, we mixed it up. Yeah, because you normally we do it after the ten thirty mass. So this is nice to do to like get that Saturday night crowd. So it'll be nice. Um, we might. Um, so if your last name begins with whatever, you bring that the dish to this little potluck to everybody bring something to share. We'll have some pop and stuff there like that to drink and stuff like that. So it's always a nice. I, I like the picnic every year. It's it's. I like to cook out, but uh, yeah. it's a nice bonding experience for everybody. Yeah, it was one of the first things I I got to uh, meet a lot of parishioners at mm-hmm. last year. It was really awesome. But yeah, we're really excited because it's an opportunity for us to to get together as a parish family. Mm-hmm. Obviously, summers are great, and having it on on an evening like that, mm-hmm. you know, with the sun, you know, we have these beautiful sunsets, and of course, we'll pray for good weather. If um, but yeah, we have a tent and we do have a tent. Um, and chairs and tables and yeah really nice stuff so it's all all coming so cool and apparently we have hot dogs and if it i mean if the whole thing you know sucks we'll just go over to sheets the hot dogs don't come from the same pig so it's different different pigs. different pigs maybe we'll do beef hot dogs maybe we should call somebody who owns the giant hot dog company in erie to help us out we could if you know anybody <laughs> down the street at the giant hot dog factory that we can't mention by name yet. Uh, not a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. So, um, but you, you've probably seen their signs. Yes. And their famous hot dogs that are very yummy. So, <laughs> thank I don't you know. For, yeah, thank you for yeah. joining us in our summer suite. edition here. I like this background. This is this nice. Is nice. This is not the studio, it's, it's though. It's not the back lady we normally have, but it's nice. No. Um, keep us in your prayers as we finish up the amazing parish conference. Uh, keep our parish in your prayers. And uh, please like and subscribe and go review us on Google. And be amazing. Amen. God bless you.